Do you ever wonder whether £10 a day vested into the stock market really makes any difference? Well, I've spent the last nine months testing this out myself, but you've got to wait a little bit longer to figure out whether it was worthwhile or not. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Mark of Desperately Seeking Fi. I have been on this journey using Trading212 to invest £10 a day into a replica of the Vanguard FTSE All World ETF. So I'm using four ETFs to replicate that just to bring down the total expense ratio of that investment. And why have I done this? I've done this for consistency. And also I want to just basically take out all of the worry that there is that the stock market is quite choppy, quite volatile, and could really scare you and cause you to either stop investing into it or pulling all your money out. So what have I actually done? I went, let's do this with a smaller amount of money, something that I feel that I could manage to put away every single day. And I came up with £10 as being the figure that I could do. And the reason I went for that is I went, that's just over £300 a month. And what could I do? I could stop having that coffee that I have every morning uh, going into the coffee shop and buying my Cafe Nero. I went, let's cut that out. There we are. We're already a third of the way there. £3, £4 saved. Looked at all the different streaming services that I had and went, I don't need all of those at one time. Got rid of some of those. And also with... I'm going to say pay rise, not really any pay rises, but just a small incremental amount of money that I've managed to pull in through a few side hustles. I went, I could probably cope with £10 a day. That's what I went for. And as I said, it's that consistency piece turning up every single day and investing into the stock market to just continue that journey towards financial independence is the whole reason behind doing this experiment. Let's jump across onto Trading212, um, sort of the platform that I used for last year's Stocks and Shares ISA and the main one that I'm going to be using this year as well. In Trading212, I have this pie that I started way back in August um, of last year and I've invested £2,560 as you can see and that is now worth almost uh, £2,740. That's 6.61% of an increase just based on the market growth that we've had over the last period of time with the rally of the S&P 500, some of the Magnificent Seven. This is just £10 a day and in reality it isn't quite £10 a day. I invest £10 a day every day Monday to Friday um, and that will go into these four different holdings and that is Vanguard S&P 500 VUSA, Vanguard FTSE Emerging Markets VFEM, Vanguard FTSE 100 VUKE and Vanguard FTSE Develop Europe X UK. That makes up what I invest my £10 a day into and as I said this comes in at a lower total expense ratio as opposed to VWRL, which is 0.022%. This comes in at 0.1%. So it just means that I, over the year, if I had got £10,000 in here, instead of paying £22 for VWRL, I pay £10 for these four different ETFs. What I haven't done is I haven't reinvested dividends back into this. That is probably something that I might switch on, but I'm going to have a think about that because I'm also running this one against a monthly dollar cost average pie as well, where I'm putting £307 in. Go and have a look at the video that I've done on that to show you which one is was working better when I did that video. As I said, Monday to Friday, I invest £10 a day, and that is based on the weightings of £6.50 into VUSA, £1.50 a day into VFEM and then into the other two they get a pound per day. Because you can't invest at the weekends what happens is at the weekends I will move money from my free funds into this pie and you see that here you have 10 pounds sat in cash on a 
Monday morning, as soon as the market's open at eight o'clock, I will have £20 invested straight away. And on addition to that, the Monday's £10 also gets invested. I don't even need to think about this. All I need to do is set up the direct debit so that I have an automatic payment coming straight into the account at the start of the month. That means that the money is sat there ready to be invested every single day. And as you may know, with Trading212, you get interest on your uninvested funds. So on top of the money that I have sat there, I'm getting a 5.2% of time of recording APY so I get a small amount every single day coming back into my free cash flow and at the moment that sits at a few pence per day just coming in uh, because of the money that I have sat there everybody's a winner and why wouldn't you take advantage of that if you're getting some kind of value out of this kind of content I'd love it if you could think of subscribing hit the like button or leave a comment down below what I have found with doing this experiment is it takes all the emotion out of it literally all I have to remember to do is set up that direct debit and it automatically does everything for me I don't have any of the highs and lows of what's the market up to I hardly even ever look at this pie I just leave it to continue to grow and I must admit when I look at that and I go I'm fast approaching three thousand pounds saved in here that is just wonderful but let's have a look and see what that might look like over a five year period as we go and build a pie just to show you how simple this really is. Back into Trading 212 we click on that create pie we want to do a build a custom pie click on that and then we need to put in whatever instrument whatever ETF or stock we want to put in here. What I'm going to go for is I was talking about VWRL earlier on what I'm actually going to do is let's do the accumulating one so basically you don't get dividends coming to you they just get automatically reinvested straight in so VWRP can add that as an instrument and there we go that's it we'll just leave it with just the one ETF in here for simplicity click next so we have got an average annual return for VWRP looking at what has happened over the past five years that is returning 14.03% that's pretty nice I think that's a little bit high I'm not sure that's what we're going to get in the future so we may need to play with those figures and not expect that higher return going forwards but if we click next as I said auto invest takes everything out of it saves you spending that money on something else so basically pay packet direct debit straight into your ISA account and let's try and use your ISA account for this so that you've got all of your capital growth and any dividends are covered under that tax wrapper. I've done a video on ISAs if you want to go and have a look at that. So we click next and then what we're looking at we'll leave this at a five year time period. What we do want to do is change the frequency to daily update and then it would be wonderful to be investing a thousand pounds per day but you very quickly break that uh, that ISA threshold of 20,000 um, so let's bring it down and make it 10 pounds so 10 pounds per day you are looking at investing 18,000 pounds into that and that at the end of five years is worth almost £26,000 so you are looking at an £8,000 return on that that is pretty good I'd be quite happy with that you could decide that you only want to invest your coffee and say your coffee costs you £4 maybe you can afford £5 a day so you work that out at being about £150 per month up to you but let's go with the tenor that I've got going in at the moment hit next then give it a name let's just call it £10 and then you just fund the pie I'm not going to do that bit because I've already got my pie set up here and that's basically what I will leave you with as I said this is really really simple to do and it takes all 
the emotion out of it. It just gives you that consistency of turning up every single day and investing whatever amount of money it is that you have chosen to put in there. Why don't you go and have a go, set up your own one, and I would love to hear comments down below if you have gone for this challenge, and I'd love it if you could keep in touch. But why don't you go and have a quick look at this video where I have done my comparison of this £10 a day pie against the monthly dollar cost average pie that we have. Have a guess at which one has done better. Hopefully you found that of some use and thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.